um, in addition to the mnemonic machine instruction which appear in our program instructions which appear in your program we also have what is called as assembler directives what are assembler directives they are instructions that direct the assembler to do something sometimes they are referred as pseudo instructions they indicate how an operand or a section of the program is to be processed by the assembler and they are never going to be converted into the machine code some assembler directives that we are going to use in our SIC program are listed over here and we will add few more uh, when we proceed in our course the first one is start this is an assembler directive which will specify name and starting address for the program and end it indicates end of the source program wherever you locate end in your program that indicates that that is the last statement of your program along with the end um, there is also need to specify the first executable instruction in the program see we are going to convert this program into object code and after conversion of the object code from where do we have to start its execution that address the first instructions label or the address will be specified in the end directive along with the end directive byte word reserve word reserve byte uh, these four assembler directives already we have discussed in our earlier videos while I was explaining the SIC programming examples anyway uh, to quote it in single line what is byte it can be used to generate a character or a hexadecimal constant occupying as many bytes as needed to represent the constant and to generate the character constants uh, if you remember we will make use of uh, variable name any name you can choose any variable name followed by the assembler directive byte if it is a character constant we will start with C and uh, within single quotation we can uh, write the constant value uh, similarly if you want to define a hexadecimal constant uh, then also the variable name byte followed by followed by uh, X we will have uh, and within single quotation you will specify the hexadecimal value Th this is an example uh, and similarly word it can be used to generate one word integer constant one word means uh, please remember in SIC word size will be three consecutive bytes and all integers it will occupy three bytes so if you have to define any integer constants then assembler directive used should be word next reserve word and reserve byte they will reserve the indicated number of words for a data area or indicated number of bytes for a data area for example if I have to reserve few words uh, I should write the variable name followed by reserve word followed by 300 if I write that indicates that I am reserving 300 words which indicates 300 into 3 because each word is 3 byte so I am reserving 900 bytes similarly if I have to reserve if I have to reserve a few bytes then uh, syntax will be variable name reserve byte followed by followed by how many number of bytes you want to reserve for future use by your program so these are few assembler directives that we are going to use in our programs as I said we will be adding few more to this list later